Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jemma for those that are new. I'm a content creator based in Ontario, Canada. Guys, you are welcome. I bring you guys good news and this is um, work permit opportunities for those who want to come to Canada to work for a period of two years. And um, this is under International Experience Canada IEC. Okay, before I proceed, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe. You can turn on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a video. And don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Okay, so um, this is this is a golden opportunity for whoever that wants to come to Canada to work. No IELT is needed. You just need two thousand five hundred. Canadian dollars for proof of fund. It's open to both skilled and unskilled position. There is no limia needed. This is limia is labor market impact assessment. Um, no job offer needed. All nationalities can apply for this program, and your spouse and common law partner can also apply for this open work permit. This will allow them to work for any employers in Canada for any job position guys this is a golden opportunity and the processing fee is 156 dollars for processing fees and the time process for this application is just six weeks only six weeks only guys eh? i'm so happy to share this good news with you guys so this um this this iec which is the um international experience um canada work permit is allowed you to stay in canada for the period of two years like i said i don't know if i said that before it will allow you to stay in canada for two years and it it has three streams i'm going to be showing you guys all these things i'll be saying thanks. i just want to like summarize for those who are impatient let me just summarize before we get into the main video okay so it has three streams one of the streams is working holiday stream second one is junk professional skill um stream and the third one is traditional co-op stream so um yeah so let's go straight into the day's video okay so um yeah let me let me press let me click on the first one which is about iec so you guys can get to know more about it how to apply who can apply how the pool works create a profile get invited how to apply and after you apply okay so um yeah you can see here the fee is 156 dollars and it's six weeks like i told you before um six week processing time Processing time starts once you submitted all requirement documents, including biometrics. Your right as a foreign worker is protected, protected by Canadian labor law. Your employer must pay you the minimum wage for Canada, must ensure your workplace is safe, can take your can't take your passport or work permit away from you okay so all your rights are protected if you really want to know more about this you can also um watch this for proper guide okay so let me read through it said international experience canada iec gives the youth the opportunity to travel and work in canada for up to two years there are three kinds of work and travel experience available these are the three type i explained this i summarized this already which are the working holidays young professionals and international co-op is internship so um oh okay let me read through this under before i open it if you are a citizen of a particular country you may be able to apply for to one or more of these three categories if you're a citizen of a particular country you understand so you can apply to one your you must definitely fall in one of this category if you aren't a citizen of a particular country you may still be able to apply to iec through the ro which is recognized organization we'll come to that okay if your 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 country is not listed among the country that is eligible to work and to have this work to for this program iec program you can click on this which is the recognized this thing you sign up recognized organization you sign up for it and um, i'll carry you guys let's just let's just click on the first one first we say the working holiday this category is for is for you if 
you don't have a job offer you want to work or you want to work for more than one employers in canada you want to work in more than one location you would like to earn some money so that you can travel this type of work permit you get for working holidays is an open work permit this lets you work for um, almost any employers in canada some exceptions apply though you need to get a medical exam first for this job okay this is for those that wants that they fall under the working holidays and the second one which is the young professionals these categories are for if you are a job if uh, okay this category is for you if you have a job offer in canada that contributes to your professional development you will work for the same employers in the same locations during your stay in canada under this category work must be under this category work must be paid and not self-employed this type of work permit you get in this young professionals category is an employer specific work permit your employer must meet all labor laws in the province or territory where you can plan to work including minimum wage requirement so um november 16th we are switching to 2021 version of national occupation classification that is the knock okay the job you are offered in canada must be classified under this no code and the types uh yeah just read through this once this is the third category which is the international cohort does internship and um, this category is for you if you are a student registered at post-secondary institution you have a job offer for a work placement or in or internship in canada you need to do this work placement in internship to complete your studies you will work for the same employer in the same location during your stay in canada this type of work permit you get in an international co-op internship category is an employer specific work permit the internship you are offered in canada must be directly linked to your field of studies wages and labor standards must follow the laws in the province if you want to know more about the law you can use clickable you click on it it's directed to all the laws in the province and territory you will be working in okay the labor code of this province or territory will determine if an internship needs to be paid or not okay so this is it this is it uh, this is it. This is just about the process. So let's go to who, who can apply. If you want to read more, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description. So I won't. I don't want to take anyone's time for and um, to be reading all these things. I'm um, line line for and um, word for word. Okay. If you want to know more about it, the link will be in the description. You can read more. I won't be reading everything. I'll be skipping some things so that we'll save ourselves some time okay so find out if you are eligible so if you if you want to know if your country of um citizenship is eligible for this um work permit you have to click down you see all the countries i mean nigeria actually and nigeria is not listed here why oh <laughs> my god nigeria is not listed here actually but not to worry not to worry if your country is not listed eh? hmm, good news for you you can also click on my country isn't listed okay you click on my country isn't listed and um and you can yeah let's read up your country or territory of of citizenship must have a youth uh, mobility agreement with canada or you may be able to use a recognized organization so if your country is not listed good news just click on this record let's click on it so see what it's all about so you click on this recognized organization 
and um yeah let me just read through if you want to come to canada or work and travel under international experience i see you can contact a recognized organization to help you plan your trip you can they can help you get information about canada canadian cultures language law taxes find a job find transportation with general support and travel ROs are youth a youth service organization that offers work and travel support to youth they can be non-profit for profit they that can be non-profit comma for profit comma or educational most charge a fee for their service most of them charge a fee for their service actually each ro offer different services to help build your international experience they may have different eligibility criteria or serve only certain countries of origin you understand that right so using an ro if you are from iec country or territory you don't need an ro so if your country like this place that i clicked now where is the place that i just clicked now and okay i have to go back but i don't want to go back um i clicked now and um your country is among the country that are eligible you don't need an ro but if your country is not among the country that are listed, that is when you need an RO. That is what it just stated here. Okay, so for that to happen, how to prove an RO is helping you? When you create a REC profile, create your IEC profile, we will ask if you have a confirmation letter to prove an RO is helping you you must get a confirmation letter from your ro and upload it to your profile these are the list of ro's okay these are the list of ro's and um the type of work permit and the target eligibilities this another go international another ro these are just some of the list of the ro's okay you understand i don't want to bore you guys and how to apply for it no let's not go here how to apply first let's go back let's go back one more time let's go back one more time so we talked about who can apply right so let's go to the third one which is how the pool works normally your profile will stay in the pool until you receive an in invitation to apply for this permit we remove all the profile from the pools at the end of the season or you are no longer eligible for iec you will regularly issue invitation to candidates we will regularly issue invitations to candidates in the IEC pools during the IEC season. Check the schedule for the season to find out, okay? When the rounds of invitation for each country and category will start and end, the number of candidates in the pool and when, okay, let me start again. When the rounds of invitations for each candidate and category will start and end. Okay, these are the, um, criterias that you have to find out the number of candidates in the pools and the chances of getting an invitation in the season invitation this season you can submit an iec profile at any time during the iec season as long as you submit your profile before the date of the last round of invitations for your countries you may receive an invitation to apply for work permit okay so you can only have one iec profile at any time however you can be eligible for more than one iec pool so you can be eligible for more than one pool apply to different pools but when you have been choosing in a particular pool stick to that pool okay when you complete your profile you will tell we will tell you which pool you are available which pool are available to you you can submit your profile to any of these available pool for example you might be eligible to submit your profile to the working holidays and young professional pool 
how we issue invitations to apply. Invitations are Invitations to apply are issued in the following order International Co-op Internship, Young Professionals, and Working um, Holidays. If your profile is an international co-op, this internship pool, the internship pool, and working holiday pool, you will receive an invitation to apply for an international co-op category. You will only receive an invitation to apply for working holiday work permit pool if there are no spot left in international co-op category so you if you apply to the three pools uh, you only be choosing i'm sorry excuse me they will only um categorize you maybe probably applying the three pools they will only choose you for one and you have to stick to that one okay if the one that they feel you're eligible did not work out or maybe is filled up they will check if you fit into other two and if you're fitting they will send you an invite okay get your supporting document ready you won't automatically get a work permit if you receive an invitation to apply you get that to get a work permit you will have to show proof of the information you gave us in the IEC profile. Provide additional information on your education, work history and background and provide other potential supporting documents when requested. If you are in the IEC pool, you should start getting any support. You should start getting any supporting documents you may need for you to for your work permit application. Some documents may take several months to get you could get an invitation to apply at any time and you will have limited time to submit your work permit application and documents okay so this is it and create a profile now this is how to create a profile for this okay become a candidate if you want to travel or work temporarily in canada as part of the International Experience Canada IEC. Your first step is to become a candidate in one or more IEC pool. How to become a candidate? The process is this is a process where you find out if you meet the minimum eligibility criteria by answering some questions. You create a free online IEC profile if you're eligible. Then the answer you give us will be used to determine if you're eligible for this pool in one or more IEC categories. That's the categories. If this is if this one pool of eligible eligible candidates per country and per categories, you can submit your profile to one or more of this pool. Candidates in this pool needs to receive the invitation to apply for work permit. So you can't just go and apply for work permit without an invitation okay you may want tips also excuse me you may want to open the page in different browser tab or in, in different browser tab or window while you complete your profile you can then refer back to the information as needed answer any questions the country of citizenship use these questionnaires to you can just read through this one find out if you're eligible to sign in if you're sure you're eligible you don't already have an account uh, these are the steps step one uh, this is okay these are the steps okay these are the steps for application okay so this is very important and uh, this is step one answer a few questions these are the questions you answer your country of citizenship, country of my residency, country of residence, student status, job offers, yadi yadi yadi. Yes, so this is the step two. Complete your online e IEC profile. Who doesn't who doesn't need to create a, a new profile? Okay, you don't need to create a new profile for the 2022 season if you created your profile within the last 365 days and um, haven't already received the invitation to apply I, I, ITA or decline the previous ITA 
okay so who doesn't need to apply this is it so if you get a positive result you can complete and submit the IEC profile online copy and write down personal reference code you get at the end of the questionnaire this is the questionnaire itself create an account enter personal information okay this is step two read through the step two process okay just read through step two fill in the online form and all of that step three this is the step three when you complete your profile you will tell you the post you are valuable to if you complete this profile you see the how to complete um if you sign i'm looking for the signing maybe we'll go to the next one and see if we can see the signing because we're going through this together we get that so yeah this is the step three the categories that is right for you that will put you to the category that is right for you submitting an iet profile does not mean you have applied to work permit you need an invitation to apply to start a work permit application if you're invited to apply you will use your account to submit your work permit application pay your fees you only pay this 156 fees okay when you submitted your work permit application pay your fees and check the status of your application okay this is only this is the only way you apply for IEC work permit okay these are the three steps on how to create a profile okay so get invited to apply so after creating this profile this is the invitation to apply if you are invited to apply you will get a message in your account this message will list your categories and your next steps you will have 10 days to decide if you accept the invitation the deadline will be in your invitation from the day and time you accept the invitation you will have 20 days to apply online for work permits okay after you've gotten the invitation that is when you apply for your work permit okay there's something I really want to find out. One second on how to create this profile. I don't want to confuse you guys. One second. Okay, yeah, this is how to create the profile. Yes, I skipped this part. That's why I thought I was going to see it in the next um, slide, but this is it. You apply through the GC key. You understand? Or you click on um, don't have an account that's when you register you open don't have an account you open it and um, you register under the GC key you click on it because you don't have an account before so yeah because I have a GC key account so it just popped up okay but if you don't have an account I don't want to clear my this thing just um, you now just create an account. You understand? It will, it will take you to where you create an account because I have a GCK account already. That is why mine is like this. If I don't have, it will come up as um, a fresh creating account where you put your name and your details and password. Okay. So this is what I skipped. I skipped this part. So I just want to clarify. Okay. On how to create your profile. This video is taking too long ago. I don't want this video to see 25 minutes. So get invited. Like I told you guys, read through on how to get invited. You will have 20 days, okay? And you now click on this to apply for work permit. To accept the invitation, go to this section called continue your profile application. Not yet submitted in your account. Find the application called work permit and click and start application. If you do not respond to the deadline shown in the invitation, the invitation will expire. So, guys, very important. If you did not show and if you do not show up, if you do not respond to the deadline shown in the invitation, your invitation will be declined. Very important. Okay. 
So you have to submit the new IEC profile and accept the pool again before you can be considered under the future invitations. Okay. Once you have accepted the invitation, you need to apply for work permit. You will have to show proof of invitation you gave us in the the proof of invitation you gave us in the international experience. International Experience um, Canada IEC profile. You also have to provide more information about your background and the type of work you intend to do in Canada. So decline an invitation to apply. If you if you decline an invitation, you will stay in the IEC pool of candidate as long as you are still eligible to be considered in the future rounds of the invitation if you choose to decline the invitation it will have a negative effect on your future invitation hmm. hey you have seen that right if you choose to decline the invitation or it will have a negative effect to mm -hmm. to decline the invitation go to uh, yari 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 eh, and all that applicants in multiple pools um document of your application and work permit if you are if you're not invited to apply you can stay in the iec pool until we remove all the profile from your pools at the end of the season or you are no longer eligible for iec some categories runs out just read through all these things how to apply should i click on the next one how to apply just read through all this process you know we are doing this together and our time is um fast spent uh, yeah our time is fast spent okay so you cannot apply for work permit under the iec unless we have sent you an invitation to apply ita if you have accepted the ita for your work permit follow the steps you follow the steps complete the online forms yeah so the documents you will be needing this is very important yes this is very important so don't skip i'm just trying to glance through okay but please guys read in between lines okay read in between lines to you know so you can you can get all the information that you've been needing i just want to read through um the document you may need proof of financial support you be you bring um you must bring your proof of financial support that is a bank account statement which you uh with you when you come to canada okay this is for border border service officers may ask you for it when you arrive the statement must be issued no more than one week before your departure from canada it must clearly show that you have enough money the equivalent of 2500 to support yourself for the first three months of your stay in Canada. If you arrive in Canada with equivalent of 10,000 or more, you must tell the border service officer. If you don't, if you don't, you could be fined or put in prison. This form could be in the form of cash, security bearer form and bank draft or checks or whatever and all that so the cost of living varies depending on where you decide to settle in canada prepare financially by finding out how much it costs to live in the city and province or territory where you can plan to stay your medical exam before you submit your work permit application, you should get a medical exam if you have recently lived and traveled in certain countries and territory for six months or more, or you or you plan to work in a health field, primary or secondary education, child care, or early care. You must see a doctor that has been approved by IRCC called a panel physician, okay? you after the panel physician completes your medical exam you will get an information printout sheet or a im imm 1017b upfront medical report form upload a copy of your documents to your document checklist and the proof of medical exam section if you don't see the section upload the documents in the optional document slot at the bottom of the checklist you need also health insurance. You, you need health insurance. Okay. 
so go through all this process guys go through them this is taking our time okay just go through them and then you'll be all right when you go through them just for this is very clear that is one thing i like about um family information if you want to bring your family so um this is one thing i like about canada website it's very very clear very 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 clear layman understanding okay layman understanding look at your fee you must pay the iec participant fee for 2022 season the participation fee is $156. If you need to give biometrics, you need to pay the biometric fee when you pay the IEC participation fee. Working holidays. You must also pay an open work permit fee of $100. Okay. These are the fee, fees, fees you pay. Refunds. The IEC participation fee, open work permit other fees, and employer comp uh, compliance fees are refundable. If how the form process and all that submit your document I give you biometrics read through all the process okay i don't want to bore you guys my time is fast spent my time is fast spent my time is fast spent okay so this is it on how to apply and after you've applied the process uh, after you've applied it will take um six week processing time uh-huh then you will have 30 days from the date we contacted you to submit your information i want to submit additional information how to submit additional information okay so just guys i just wish you guys all the very best in this process okay i wish you guys all the very best i don't want my time my time is fast spent just read through i'm going to leave the website in my description go check it out and okay i don't want to spend too much time on this thank you guys for watching if you watch up until now and i wish you all the very best okay bye